Hi there guys, Jack here from Pure Create Designs and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at creating super smooth slow motion with a plugin called Twixter 4.5. Now if you don't have Twixter you can obviously google it, um, I'll actually put the link in the description where you can get it from. Uh, it does cost for the um, pro version, uh, I think you can get a 30 day trial, uh, I'm not sure, um, I'll put the link in the description. But this is what we're going to be creating. Okay, so I'm just going to show you now. Now this clip was given to me by um, XX Crazy Productions XX. Um, you can check his channel out. Subscribe to it. Really good channel. It's in the video description. Definitely check him out. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be creating. So as you can see, here we go into really super slow motion. Obviously, he fires there, kills him. It does have some music I put with it, but you can't hear it because. Um, of the, I haven't turned the um, audio to record the system audio on this. I'll show you again though. As you can see, it comes in here. There's the super slow motion. It's a little bit laggy on my computer. My computer's pretty slow at the minute, but it does look really nice effect. Okay, so what we're going to do in After Effects is we're going to create a new composition. Uh, I'm going to make it the HDTV 720 30 key frames per second. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to up the frame rate to 59.94 because we're doing that it'll make it nice and smooth. And then my duration is going to be 10 seconds. The clip I think is about three seconds. And uh, the reason why I'm making it 10 seconds is when we do slow motion it will take up about five seconds. So you just going to make sure that that duration um, will make sure that your clips you know there's enough for your clip. But that's fine for me. I'm going to click OK. But make sure that that frame right there is at 60, so it's 59.94. OK. That's going to make it a lot smoother then. So, first off, I'm going to want to import that clip. So, I'm going to go to File, Import File. Now, I've just named it a clip, just because um, I can remember it. Um, now, you can use whatever you want. Obviously, the better quality is going to look better. Say if you do. You can have, make sure obviously it's in HD. If you render stuff out, just render it out in HD. Just makes it look a lot nice and crisper. But um, if you, you can do this for anything. If you don't do Call of Duty clips or you don't do any like Halo clips, whatever you want to do, um, if you, you could do it for anything. You could do it for, um, uh, you know, these are all used in like, you know, like the, the Matrix and stuff where they do a lot of slow motion. That's all probably done by stuff like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this clip. I'm going to drag it on like so. And then as you can see there's a little bit of black around the edges, so I'm just going to click on here, hold shift, and keep my aspect ratio locked. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it so it fills it, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come down here and, and enable frame blending. I'm going to choose that, and uh, that's going to make it a lot smoother. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on my clip here, and I'm going to go to layer, frame blending, and choose pixel motion. Let that do its thing. Okay, that's done that. It's going to make it a nice, a lot smoother. Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one second on my timeline. Computer is slow, it's just going to take a little while. There we are. There it is. Okay, and that's where I want the slow motion to start. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm on my um, clip here. Go to Effect. I'm going to go down to RE Vision Plugins. I'm going to choose a Twixter 4.5. Okay. Now it'll bring up all these effects here. What we're going to have to do, the only thing we're going to mess around with here is the um, input frame ratio. We're just going to up that to 59.94. Uh, okay. So we have 60 keyframes. That's going to make it a nice lot smoother. Uh, okay. So I'm going to um, just hide that again. I'm going to come on my clip, choose this down here, this little triangle. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to go twix to 4.5. Output control, and then as you can see, we see our speed there. Just works a lot better using it down here than um, using your stopwatch up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that stopwatch, and I'm going because this is going to be full speed up to here. So what I'm going to do is so all the way from the start to here is going to be full speed. Then I'm just going to drag forward just a tiny bit, about two frames. Okay, let that load. As you can see, it does take a while because it is in HD. And I have a slow computer. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to get this, and I'm going to take it down to 10. Now, it depends how slow motion you really want to do it. 50 is obviously going to be 50% of the speed of what it was before. And um, say if you do something like 3 or 2, it's going to be really, really slow. So I'm going to put mine on 10 because I think uh, anything 
higher is a little bit too fast, but anything lower is too slow. So I think that's going to be fine for me. Now you can just mess around with it. You can use whatever you want. You might not even want it that slow. It's up to you. Then I'm going to go all the way to where I want it to end. And I know it's about six seconds, I think. Or, oh, yeah, it's about six seconds. Let that load. Obviously, if you don't have a HD clip, it's going to load a bit faster. But, um, my, you know, mine, my computer's pretty slow, so I'm sorry about that. I apologize for it being slow. That's not it. About seven seconds. Let's see if that's right. There we are. Okay. This is where I'm going to want to end it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, click that. Oops, what's it giving me? Uh, oh, I don't know. Exit out of that. Okay, I'm going to click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to add a um, another keyframe at that speed. I'm going to drag forward a couple of frames. And then I'm going to um, change the speed back to 100. So it's going to go 100%. And then at about eight eight and a half seconds, I know my clip ends. So let's just click there and see what happens. Let that load. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen. I apologize for it being slow. Doesn't mean I didn't. I'm going to get a new computer soon. Okay. And as you can see, that's ended about there. So it's going to be about there. And then um, the reason why we're going to do this is because we want to drag this over. So when you render it out, um, it's not going to render that last ten, two seconds that you don't want. Okay. So what this is this is literally the end. So I'm just going to get this little thing here. And this is called work end area, as it says. You can drag that to the end of here. And that means when you render it, it's going to not go any further than that. So that's it, guys. That's the tutorial. That's going to be super smooth slow motion with um, uh, Twixter 4.5. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, if you want to see um, more After Effects tutorials, stuff like this, uh, definitely subscribe. And um, please give this video a thumbs up. It will help me out. Thanks, guys. See ya.